the most filtered and process it into a conclusion. What great chunks of the population do today is take the information as a conclusion. When the media say, this is what's going on, then that is not information to be processed. That is a conclusion to be absorbed. These are all traits of Matiko. And how does this work? Matiko is a band of frequency. It's a very low, dense band of frequency, which resonates to the frequencies of fear and all the emotional, low vibration emotional states around fear. Anxiety, depression, resentment, all these low vibrational emotional states. And every thought, every emotion that we deal and we think goes out as a frequency. Fear is a dense, low, slow frequency. When people are in fear and anxiety, it's so heavy today. Yes, because that's what those low, slow frequencies do to the energy. Good. When people feel joy and love, it's so light today. Yeah, because they're fast frequencies and they're fast wavelengths. So therefore, they're in fact, they feel in a completely different way. The point of the teacher is to draw human consciousness into the own vibrational states so that attachment and assimilation can take place. Matiko is not going once it's got influence, and what it does, it attaches to the lower levels of the subconscious, just beyond the five senses. It puts its perceptual traits yeah. into that subconscious, and yeah. then it puts it through to the five sense conscious mind, and at that point, people think that they have their own thoughts, their own emotional reactions, and actually, they've been impeded by coming through the conversation. Matiko is not going to influence those that it teaches to, to make you think about questioning anything. And so people simply stop processing information. They become like a software problem. They just take their notes, they become statements and whatever, and it becomes their reality. The way it out is to mean it. You have to be able to mean it. Yeah, why? Because Ratiko operates in the human subconscious. Once you make it conscious, it loses its power. And it's exactly the same as subliminal advertising and subliminal images. I put a subliminal image in one of my books as an example of this. And it's about four plants very next to each other. And you say, okay, there's a subliminal image in that picture. And, and people look and you can't see anything. And then you point out that in the white bits between the plants, it clearly says the word. And they go, oh, God, it's that. Now, here's the point. From that moment on, every time they look at that picture, the subliminal is the first thing they see. Because they draw it out of the subconscious to the conscious, and therefore it loses its power. It's just a way of saying acknowledge its existence because it's in the subliminal, the subconscious. That the two cooperates because it wants you to believe that your thoughts and your opinions are your thoughts and opinions. It doesn't want you to realize that actually they're being fed to you. They don't want us to know how our perception through a process of attraction, frequency attraction, our perceptions become our experience. So they don't want us to know that our perceptions create a reality. And the idea is that. Um, People are kept in ignorance of how they interact with reality and how they can control reality, how they can stop living life instead of life living them in their ignorance of how reality works. The nature of reality, the nature of reality, the eternal nature of life, the fact that this tiny band of frequency that we call the human world, that's what it is, it's a tiny band of frequency, ridiculous in our actually, especially the physical part, the physical part. This is not what the rest of infinity is. The rest of infinity is dominated by love, by joy, by happiness. Yes, there are pockets like this one. This is not how life is. We are caught in something that is not like the rest of infinite possibility and potential. We shouldn't confuse life, per se, with life in this little band frequency we call the world. And talking about this awakening, 